Hello, I'm Don with uh, Ranchilio Group North America, and today we're working with the Agro One Touch Top Milk XP. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the layout on the screen. We had a screensaver running. I just tapped the screen in order to um, bring the machine, uh, basically wake it up. Um, we have six drinks per page. We have a choice, a uh, total, a maximum, if you will, of eight possible pages. That's 48 possible drinks. You don't need to be utilizing all of that. It depends upon your menu, how complicated or as simple you'd like to have it. This machine is all about simplicity. Uh, I'm going to go into programming and I press and hold the clock. After about 10 seconds, it goes into the egg roll portal. And here's where we can do uh, some cleanings, play some videos, um, cleaning videos and instructional videos, if you will. Uh, we have the manager menu and technical menu. I press the manager menu and uh, normally it's going to require a password, but I've already entered that password and I don't have to re-enter if I stay on the machine getting into manager menu uh, for the next 30 minutes. And I have a, a total of seven possibilities that I could uh, uh, be modifying on this machine. And I'm going to go into the button that is touchscreen so I can modify the touchscreen. Um, remembering that we already have in another section, we've already discussed modifying drink configurations, product configurations. So we've already defined up to 48 different uh, recipes, if you will. And I take a look at the top uh, item, and that's pages. I'm going to modify the pages. So we have all those, all those pages that we have as a potential, all eight possible pages. And I'm going to go ahead and customize it. Right down uh, below that is time to home. And in parentheses, it tells me seconds, S for seconds. So 20 seconds later. So if I walk up to the machine and I scroll to a different page and I walk away, it's going to go back to the favorites page in 10 seconds or 15 seconds. I'll leave it at 15. I'll save that value. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to customize a, an individual page. Let's take a look at like the single faves page. We have a total possibility of eight different pages that we can modify the layout to. But this machine is so simple to be modifying. I'm gonna to go to the single faves page. I've got double espresso, I've got Americano, I've got cappuccino, latte, and I've got 2% uh, steam milk on demand. I've got rinse shot glass. And uh, it looks like the layout when I'm actually walking up to the machine in its standard mode. So I'm going to tap on one of those drinks. I tapped on the double espresso. And you know what? We took double espresso off the menu yesterday, so now it's gone. So when I get out of programming, it will actually not have double espresso on the menu. It's still predefined in the product configuration, uh, the, pro the product configuration, but it's not on the menu anymore, and so it's not on the screen. Or let's say, yes, I do still want to have that, but you know what? I don't want a double espresso on the, on the home page. Tell you what, let's make a modification. Let's go ahead and put single espresso. Now I have single espresso on the on the main page. And I press save and I'm gonna back out of programming. And voila, double espresso is gone. It's now single espresso. As simple as that on this machine, you can modify the layout to the pages uh, for whatever your your menu uh, should be uh, providing. And um, that's it on drink.